How's it going traders? Thanks to MentorQ, you can now track institutional gamma levels in real time right on your TrendSpider charts. And the best part is that you can automatically scan for assets that are approaching these levels using TrendSpider's market scanner. So once you're subscribed to both TrendSpider and MentorQ, you will gain access to three powerful indicators, which are the gamma levels, blind spots levels, and MentorQ conversions indicators. The gamma levels indicator pinpoints sticky price magnets created by positive and negative dealer gamma, which has two settings, end of day and intraday, catering to both day traders and swing traders. The blind spots levels indicator surfaces reaction zones caused by gamma shifts in correlated markets. For example, when the QQQ option flow flags a pivot point, this may translate to Apple before it appears on that chart. This allows you to view price levels that traditional indicators could easily miss. Finally, the Menthor Q conversions indicator allows you to convert levels from spot markets such as the SPX to its futures equivalents like the ES. This allows futures traders to pinpoint trades based on SPX option flows with mathematical precision instead of rounded guesses. So once you're subscribed to MentorQ, you can add these indicators to TrendSpider by visiting the MentorQ store page, clicking the one you want to add, and then clicking add to TrendSpider. And once you add the indicators to your chart, simply just enter your MentorQ API key right into the indicator properties for it to work. So these indicators are great, but it gets even better because with TrendSpider, you can scan and find assets trading at key gamma levels in seconds using the market scanner. And to help you guys out, we built out a few scan templates you can use, including the call resistance and put support scans. You can just search Menthor Q in the market scanner right on TrendSpider, click the one you want to add, and then from the store page, click add to TrendSpider and subscribe to it. The call resistance scan allows you to find assets trading at key resistance levels to help identify profit taking or shorting opportunities. And then the put support scan allows you to find assets trading at potential price floors waiting to have a bullish reversal. It doesn't stop there either because you can combine these levels with any other criteria in the market scanner. For example, I could even add an oversold RSI filter onto my put support scan for extra validation. So the opportunities here aren't endless, whether you're a scalper, a day trader, or a swing trader, using these Menthor Q levels on TrendSpider will give you that extra institutional edge. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below or hit up our amazing support team. Otherwise, I'll catch you guys in the next video.